children. Before starting today's session, look at the picture given and answer some questions. What causes the football to move when it is kicked? Force Which force causes the ball to fall after it strikes the net? Gravity Which type of energy is released when the referee blows his whistle? Sound energy What is the player doing when he kicks the football? Players push the football with their feet. This causes the ball to move. Pulling also makes objects move. So, today, let's learn more about Force Energy Simple Machines Force and Energy Class 5 Science What is the force? In everyday life, we see and perform many actions that involve a push or a pull. In football, the ball is being pushed when the players kick it. In a tug of war, people are pulling at the rope. A push or a pull acting on an object is called force. A man pushing a cart, a child pulling a toy wagon, and a girl opening a door are other examples in which a force is being applied to an object. Effects of force We cannot see a force, but we can see its effect. Let us examine the effects that force can have on objects. A force can make a stationary object move or make a moving object move faster. If the force is applied in the same direction in which the object is moving, a force can make a moving object slow down or stop. If the force is applied in the direction opposite to that in which the object is moving, a force can also change the direction of a moving object when it is applied at an angle to the direction of moving object. A force can change the shape of an object. Types of force There are different types of forces. Gravitational force Magnetic force Electrostatic force Mechanical force Buoyant force and Frictional force let us learn about each one of them. Gravitational force or gravity Gravitational force or gravity is the force that attracts objects to the center of the earth. If you throw a ball up, it comes down after some time due to gravity. It is the earth's gravity that keeps us and all other objects on the ground. Magnetic force or magnetism Magnetic force or magnetism is the force with which a magnet attracts metal such as iron and nickel and other magnets. Magnets may also repel each other with the help of a magnetic force. Electrostatic force Since ancient times, it is known that materials such as amber get charged when rubbed with other materials and attract lighter objects. Similarly, if you run a comb through dry hair, the comb gets charged and is able to attract tiny bits of paper when brought near it. The force that a charged body exerts on another charged or uncharged body is called electrostatic force. Mechanical force A mechanical force comes into play when a pull or push comes in physical contact with an object. When you open a door, your hand pushes the door, opening it. Mechanical force can bend, break, or compress things. Buoyant force Different objects, when dropped in water will either sink or float on it. When an object is dropped in water, 
the water exerts a net upward force that pushes the object up. This upward force is called the buoyant force. The buoyant force is equal to the weight of the water displaced by the object. This statement is called Archimedes principle. Frictional force or friction Frictional force or friction is the force that tries to stop the movement of objects across a surface. Friction always acts in the direction opposite to the direction of movement of an object. It can slow down the movement of an object or stop it from moving altogether. In general, movement across smooth surfaces such as ice and glass produces less friction. Let's see the advantages and disadvantages of friction. Advantages Friction between the chalk and the blackboard makes it possible for the teacher to write on the blackboard. It also helps us to write on paper and erase pencil marks from paper using an eraser. Friction between our feet and the ground makes it possible for us to walk. We find it hard to walk on ice or on a smooth, polished floor as movement across these surfaces produces less friction. That is why we often slip on icy ground or wet floor. The friction between the tires of vehicles and the road makes them roll forward. Thus, friction makes the movement of vehicles possible. Disadvantages Friction causes damage to tires of vehicles, the soles of our shoes, and machine parts, making these objects wear away with time. This is the reason why machine parts need to be oiled regularly. Oil is slippery and reduces the friction between different parts of a machine. Friction makes it hard to slide heavy objects, such as a heavy piece of furniture or a heavy box across the floor. Friction generates heat. You can feel it by rubbing your palms together for some time. Heat produced due to friction causes damage to machine parts such as car brakes. Activity Aim To observe how the roughness of a surface affects movement. Things needed a toy car, some books, and a towel. Arrange the books as shown in figure A. Gently push the toy car down the slope and observe how it moves. Now, place the towel over the slope as shown in figure B. Again, gently push the car down the towel covered slope and observe what happens. As you can see, the toy car easily runs down the surface of the book, but barely moves over the towel. We can conclude that, movement across a smooth surface is easier as it produces less friction. Energy The ability to do work is called energy. There are many forms of energy. Let us discuss. Heat energy burning fuels such as coal, LPG, and kerosene release heat energy. In our homes, we use heat energy to cook food. Light energy. Light energy helps us to see things around us. Electric bulbs, lamps, tube lights, and candles are some sources of light energy. The sun is also a source of light energy. Mechanical energy Energy that an object has because of its position. Potential energy, or, its movement. Kinetic energy, is called mechanical energy. The water stored behind a dam has potential energy, which gets converted to kinetic energy, as the water falls from a height. Electrical energy Appliances such as electric bulbs Tube lights Radio Television Computer 
and washing machine use electrical energy. Electrical energy is generated at power stations and supplied to our homes. Wind energy Power of the moving air, wind, is utilized with the help of windmills to generate electrical energy. Sound energy Portable audio players Television Radio And loudspeakers are sources of sound energy. Musical instruments such as guitar and tabla also produce sound energy. Solar energy The energy that we get from the sun is called solar energy. It is used to provide heat, light, hot water, and electricity. Geothermal energy The energy that we get from the heat of the earth is called geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is used to generate electricity. Renewable and non-renewable energy. The energy that can be renewed or replenished over a period of time is called renewable energy. Solar energy, wind energy and geothermal energy are examples of renewable energy. The energy that cannot be renewed or replenished over a period of time is called non-renewable energy. Energy obtained from fossil fuels, such as coal and petroleum, are examples of non-renewable energy. Simple machines We use various tools, such as a pair of tongs, a pair of scissors, and a wheelbarrow to make our work easier, in our everyday life. These tools are called machines. A machine can be defined as a tool that makes our work easier, by helping us overcome a larger force, called load, by applying lesser force, called effort. Machines may be simple or complex. A simple machine uses a single applied force, effort, to overcome a single force, load. A complex machine consists of two or more simple machines working together. There are six types of simple machines. Lever Wheel and axle Pulley Incline plane Screw and wedge Lever a lever is a rigid rod ranged in such a manner that, it can move freely around a fixed point. It consists of the main three parts are as follows. Fulcrum This is the fixed point around which the rod moves. Load It is the object on which work is to be performed. Effort it is the force that needs to be applied to the rod in order to perform a task. Based on the position of these three parts, fulcrum, load, and effort, levers can be classified into three types. First class lever. Levers in which the fulcrum is located between the load and the effort are called first class or class 1 levers. For example a pair of scissors, a seesaw, and a crowbar. Second class lever. Levers in which the load is located between the fulcrum and the effort are called second class or class 2 levers. Examples, a wheelbarrow, a bottle opener, and a nutcracker. Third class lever. Levers in which the effort is located between the fulcrum and the load are called third class or class 3 levers. Examples A stapler A pair of tongs And a fishing rod Wheel and axle A wheel and axle consist of a wheel rigidly attached to a rod called axle. When the wheel is rotated, the axle also rotates. Example, a screwdriver. 
a doorknob, and a steering wheel of a car. Pulley A pulley consists of a wheel with a groove rim, and a rope, a chain, or a belt running around the grooves. The wheel rotates around a stationary axle. A pulley can be of two types, fixed, and movable. In a fixed pulley, the axle of the pulley is fixed to some kind of support, such as a hook, or a wall, and one end of the rope is attached to the load. This type of pulley changes the direction of the force, and makes work easier. It is used to lift a bucket of water from a well, and raise a flag to the top of a flagpole. In a movable pulley, the axle is not fixed to any kind of support. It is free and movable. The load is directly attached to the pulley. This type of pulley helps to lift heavy loads with lesser effort than a fixed pulley. It is usually used in combination with a fixed pulley. For example, a machine such as a crane uses both fixed and movable pulleys to lift heavy loads. Inclined Plane A slope or a flat surface raised at an angle in order to move heavy loads with less effort is called an inclined plane. Ramps in the hospital and slides in a playground are examples of an inclined plane. Wedge A wedge is formed when two inclined planes are joined together such that, one end is sharp and the other is blunt. It is used to cut things. A knife and an axe are examples of a wedge. Screw A screw is another type of inclined plane. It is formed when an inclined plane wraps around a straight rod-like structure. A screw has a spirally grooved surface with a pointed end. It is used to hold things together. The attaching end of some light bulbs is an example of a screw. We use screws to join two wooden planks together strongly. Summary a force can make a stationary object move or make a moving object move faster. A force can make a moving object slow down or stop. A force can change the direction of a moving object. A force can change the shape of an object. Heat energy, light energy, mechanical energy, electrical energy, wind energy and sound energy are different forms of energy. There are six types of simple machines, lever, wheel and axle, pulley, inclined plane, screw, and wedge. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.